Once upon a time, there was this guy named Bill Williams. And in uh, 1983, he created one of the most bizarre, surreal, sadistic and cute games. Uh, later on, he found God and died of a genetic disease. Now, when I first uh, opened this game on my computer, I was eight. And I thought this was a computer virus, because this was exactly how I thought computer virus should look. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Alley Cat. In Alley Cat, you are a little black cat and the world is a hostile, fucked up place where you have no friends. The white dog won't let you sit on the pavement. The white cat, who has developed an intricate underground tunnel system connecting all the trash cans, wants to see you dead. People chuck things at you, the mice bite at your paws, and the broom possessed by the demon of cleanliness wants to throw you out of the window. Life is tough. When you do complete one of the sadistic minigames, like eating a bird, fishing in a disproportionately large fish bowl, or catching mice that infest a gargantuan chunk of cheese, you get the chance to get laid. But it's only a chance, because you have to maneuver around the cupid's arrows and other cats, sometimes buying them off with mysterious presents to get to the lady of your dreams. Once you do that, she gets pregnant, gives birth to four beautiful kittens, and the difficulty goes up. The only endgame you get in Alley Cat is death. This game is such an accurate metaphor for life and packs so much existential pain into 60 kilobytes that it becomes almost too much to bear. It's as if Camus, Sartre, Nietzsche, Kierkegaard and Dostoevsky all got together, sat down and said, OK boys, we've got a game to make. Well, more or less. If you enjoyed that, Please subscribe, because there will be more. The cigarettes have expired dates.